At a hospital in northern Spain, there are echoes of an old, almost forgotten disease, which nevertheless still turns some lives to hell. After being diagnosed with tuberculosis, I had two options. First, a long stay in a hospital room where nobody could visit me without wearing a special mask. Or second, staying secluded at home and coming here to the hospital every day for treatment, a daily injection and 22 pills that I also had to take daily in the presence of a nurse. I opted for the second option. If I ever had to go outside, to the bakery or other places, I always had to wear a mask. TB kills 1.5 million people every year worldwide and around 100,000 new cases are diagnosed every year in Europe. The disease gradually makes holes in the lungs which start to look like Swiss cheese and once the tuberculosis infection has colonized the lung it travels through the blood to other organs. The brain, the bones, any human organ irrigated by blood. At this biopharmaceutical lab near the hospital, scientists from a European Union research project are trying to find answers to the complex and often dramatic challenges posed by the disease. It's a huge long-term effort. When I was a university student at med school back in the early 80s, the World Health Organization was looking at eradicating the disease by the year 2000. Now experts use 2050 as a possible eradication date, but this will only be possible if we can get faster diagnostic tools, new, more powerful drugs to fight hyper-resistant new strains and new vaccines. The project's first result is a new candidate vaccine produced at these research facilities. Unlike the only existing 100-year-old tuberculosis vaccine, this is a live vaccine based on a weakened version of the bacterium that causes the disease. Researchers hope that this will make the vaccine safer and more effective. The cultivation of live microbacteria on an industrial scale is complex. We're talking about a microorganism that grows at an extremely slow rate. We need to wait for between one and two months before those microbacteria can be used. And we're talking about a live vaccine. For it to become really efficient, we have to ensure both its viability and its stability during the whole fabrication process. Some 1,800 kilometers from Vigo, here in Lausanne, Switzerland, the first phase one clinical trials using real volunteers have begun. Researchers are evaluating the candidate vaccine's safety and also getting an impression of how efficient it could be to stimulate molecules thought to protect the human body against the disease. Si. It would be good if at phase one of clinical trials we can show that these protective molecules are present in the volunteers' bodies. That would mean that, in real patients, those who have molecules would be better protected than those who do not. That is what we'll try to verify. Provided that it successfully passes the three clinical trials needed for scientific validation, researchers hope that industrial production of the new vaccine could start in around 10 years.